Hey, how's it going? It's Joe. I've got uh, what hopefully is a uh, fun and uh, pretty easy project for the ER301 today. Uh, we're going to build a ducking delay. So uh, first I'll kind of show you what it does here. Um, I've got just a, a synth that I created here. Uh, so the ER301 is the sound generator and this is just kind of a, a two saw waves detuned a little bit and run through a filter. It sounds like this. <laughs> It's a pretty basic sound. Um, and then we've got this ducking delay unit. And right now I've got the duck set to zero. Um, and um, I'll go ahead and unbypass it here. And um, I'm going to play a little bit. And, and what I want you to notice here is that as I'm playing, um, the the uh, the this delay is actually set to uh, pretty obnoxious. I mean, the, the feedback is pretty high. The wet level is pretty high. So it's a, it's a pretty strong effect. Um, and as I play, um, what you'll probably notice with, with no ducking on is that, um, you know, as I play a melody, the melody uh, gets muddy pretty fast. It gets kind of lost, um, and it's kind of hard to hear what I'm playing. So that sounds like this. So next I'm going to turn up this duck parameter, and what this does is it listens to the input signal, and when I'm playing it turns the, uh, the wet effect of the delay down. And when I stop playing, um, it turns it right back up. So what that does, you'll, you'll be able to hear the lead line a lot better. Uh, but when I stop playing, the delay effect will be just as strong. So uh, let me go ahead and turn it up maybe halfway or so. And then let me just do these back to back with uh, no ducking and a lot of ducking so you can hear the difference. All right, that's what we're going to build today. It's pretty easy. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started with this, uh, I've inserted a custom effect unit. Um, go down here to uh, containers and custom effect. And all I've done here is I've uh, renamed it to ducking delay. And um, I've gone over here to edit controls. And I've dropped in four gain bias controls. Um, and name them obviously delay, duck, feedback, and wet. I'm not going to walk through that just uh, to save you watching me type a bunch of names. Um, all of these controls go from 0 to 1, so I set those parameters. Um, except for the delay, I think I made that go up to 2 uh, seconds. All right, um, so um, you'll recall with the custom effect unit that the signal that's coming in here from the left, in this case my synth, um, appears right here um, and that's part of the uh, one of the features I guess of the custom effect unit um, that's what makes it an effect is that you can um, you know get access to your signal here um, so let's go ahead and insert the effect we want to work with um, I'm going to choose the spread delay I guess you could choose any of the delay units that you want to um, and let's go ahead and wire up the delay control um, so you'll recall I had that back on the top um, we'll go into the subchain here and just grab from locals and we'll grab that delay control there. And we'll just set the gain to 1. Um, on the top level, mine went to 2 seconds. So let's go ahead and set the spread delay so that it can go up to 10, secs, uh, 10 seconds at a maximum. Um, for And now these should be 1 to 1 mapping, right? So if I turn the delay up to you know, point, point 0.29 seconds, come down here, this should match and be point 0.29 seconds. Um, the spread control, um, I'm just going to hard code this in here. I'm going to, I like the way uh, 2.25 sounds, so I'm just going to hard code that. You could uh, add that control to the top if you wanted to. Um, for the feedback control, um, you'll notice that this control is in dB. It goes, uh, it's a logarithmic scale, so it goes from in minus infinity and then it goes, you know, up to zero. Um, so that we can set the gain for that right, let's go ahead and go back up to um, our feedback control on the custom unit, and let's just go ahead and bring that all the way up to 1. 
and we'll come down in here and we'll assign that. So I'll grab uh, that feedback control off of the custom effect unit. And then in order to set the gain, um, since that's already maxed out at the top level, I can just kind of bring this gain up here and, and you know watch this uh, parameter up here as it, as it goes up. So I want that to top out at maybe, uh, let's have it top out at like minus 1.5. So that gives me a gain of 0.83, and that works for me. And then finally for the wet control, this is kind of the big one. This is the one we're uh, uh, really going to work on. So... Um, Let's see. Um, first, we'll go ahead and um, wire this up to the wet control on the top. So let's set this to something just so we know we're, what we're working with here. Let's maybe set it to 0.25. And we'll go back down into the unit. And we'll set the gain to 1. And we'll grab that wet control here from the local, from the uh, custom effect. So it's just like we did with all the others so far. Um, so this should display 0.25, and it does. So what we want to do is listen to the input signal, and we want to generate a CV signal that is based on that audio input signal. And uh, you know we want to turn this wet control down accordingly. Um, so you know really everything, all the cool stuff you can build with the ER301, it really all comes down to um, you know signal routing and signal conditioning, um, and that's true even in the middle layer. Um, so, um, let's see, um, coming down in here to the wet, so we've got the, the basic delay level. I also want to, um, I'm going to want to, you know, add or subtract something to this. So we need a, a mixer type unit. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and mix with an offset unit, um, which acts just like a mixer. Um, And what we need here um, is basically a CV version of the audio signal that's coming in. So the first thing I want to do is get the audio signal. And there's, um, you know, if I come up here into um, this, there's probably not a great place to grab that right now. I mean, if I go here, that's going to grab, you know, kind of the, the wet delayed signal. Um, and same here, this is going to grab the, the wet delayed signal. So um, let's come down here to this uh, spread delay and I'll go back into edit mode. And let's just insert another offset unit right here. So basically, this isn't going to do anything to the signal right here. It's just going to be a place for us to grab onto, to grab kind of that dry signal that's coming into the unit because that, you know, appears right here at the front of the custom source. So if we, now we'll have a place to kind of latch onto to grab that, um, that dry signal. So if I come back down into the wet control and into this offset, um, I can go here and go to locals. And now I can go up to this offset number two, and uh, I can just grab the input signal from this. Cool. So now we don't want an audio rate signal here. What we actually want is kind of a, a control voltage version of this. Um, and there's a unit that's perfect for kind of doing this, and that is the um, envelope follower, which I already got uh, up here in my recently selected. It's got an attack and a uh, release parameter. Um, I'm just going to set these both to 10. That seems to work pretty good for this unit, but obviously you can go in and kind of fine-tune these things. Um, so let's take a look at the signal that we have um, coming out of here. I'll just hit enter on this so we can get a bigger scope display, and let's take a look at what that looks like. <laughs> So it looks good. Um, it looks like it's producing kind of a CV version of the, um, you know, the signal or audio signal. Uh, but it, it's pretty small. Um, it didn't, you know, go up very high. So let's condition that a little bit. Um, I'm going to drop a limiter unit into here, and I'm just going to use this um, pre-control to kind of pump the signal up. So I'll play, and we'll just kind of adjust this thing um, to a good spot. <laughs> Maybe back that down a little bit. I think that'll be good. So we'll set that to 16 dB for now. Uh, we can come back and tweak later if needed. And let's see here. Um, so we don't have any gain on this block yet. Um, and actually what we want to do, we've got um, you know the, the wet control here, which right now is set to 0.25. 
we actually don't want to add the signal coming in. We actually want to subtract that. So um, we can take this gain and just set it down to negative one. So it'll basically invert that signal. Um, so it'll be, you know, this minus the, the CV signal that's coming in off of here um, is what's going to set <clears throat> this wet here. So you can see right now it's set to 0.25. And as I play, you can kind of watch the, the little bar there, right? Cool. So um, that's working exactly like we want it to. Um, the only thing is that the ducking is like always, you know, full on right now. And that sounds a little bit weird, right? I mean, it's, as, as long as I hold down a note, um, you know, the, the delay effect is completely gone. And then when I release, it's completely full again. So... <laughs> What we want to do is, uh, you know, have a little bit more control over that so it can be a little bit more of a, a blended uh, kind of effect. So we've got this ducking control up on the top. Right now it's set to zero and we haven't wired that one up yet. So let's go back down into our wet control chain and down into our offset chain. And here's our signal that's coming out of here. And what we can do is make this, you know, um, less, less strong the lower you have the ducking control. So I'm going to grab a... VCA here, and um, we'll go into its subchain, and you know for its level, um, let's grab that duck control. So back up to here, and then let's set that gain to one, and we should be good. So right now it's at zero. This effect. Um, you know, really shouldn't be having any impact on this at all. It should stay at 0.25. And if we bring this up to 1, uh, it's going to do just what we were doing before, right? Where it uh, kind of suppresses it fully while we're playing. But now we can also do, uh, you know, kind of a blend, right? Like 0.5, I guess, would be right in the middle. Um, we'll let part of that uh, input signal through to, to kind of dampen the web. And that might even be a little strong based on that uh, pre-control I set on there. So we'll bring that back down a little bit. We can just kind of use this to dial it in where we want, right? Cool, and there you have it. That is a, a ducking delay effect. So, uh, hope you guys uh, got some ideas from that. I mean, really, you know, you could use this kind of a uh, schema on, uh, you know, any kind of effect you want, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be a delay. And, um, you know, the signal that you're using to... Uh, you know, kind of control that uh, wet balance of the effect doesn't even really necessarily need to be the incoming audio signal either. You could, uh, you know, side chain it to something else. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed and got something useful out of this. Um, I think that's it. Catch you next time. Stay safe. <laughs>